in March of 2020, um, both my wife and I both contracted COVID-19. So I wanted to participate in a clinical trial to kind of find out if I had antibodies and, um, you know, to kind of help other transplant recipients to kind of understand the importance of being in a clinical trial so that you can contribute to things that may um, come about in the foreseeable future. I talked to the trial coordinator. I wanted to make sure that as far as safety went, you know, that my data was protected. I wasn't going to participate in anything that was too invasive. My care team was very instrumental in allowing me to be able to sit down and just to talk these things through. Currently with the particular clinical trial that I'm in, it's still ongoing right now. It's been going good. The trial team is really keeping us updated. They always create a safe environment for us to be able to talk about some of the hard conversations. So of course, um, race and, you know, just talking about social determinants of health with your team um, is always a good thing because they really need to see you as an individual before they see your affliction. The data that was currently out there, I noticed that there were some institutional and systemic barriers such as um, with race and ethnicity. And the majority of the clinical trials that I investigated, um, participations from those particular groups were lacking. When marginalized communities start taking that bold step in the right direction, um, we can overcome a whole lot of things from the past and to be able to walk into a much brighter future. The most important thing that I want somebody to know before they get into a clinical trial is how you will benefit or how your data is going to benefit helping future generations find a particular cure or treatment or therapy um, for that particular disease state. If there's somebody out there who is nervous or anxious, I would just tell them again to talk to their primary care. Um, to go on the, the website um, clinicaltrials.gov. They can certainly go to the American Kidney Fund website to find out what kind of trials that are safe. I would also even encourage you um, as a participant in a clinical trial or even if you're thinking about participating in it to bring your care partner, caregiver, or another person to um, go over the uh, contract agreement, I encourage you today to utilize your voice um, to speak for yourself. You are your best advocate. Fight your best fight. Talk to your health care providers and ask them about clinical trials. Let them know why you want to participate. Let them know that your health care matters. And by doing this, that's one step toward um, mending a broken healthcare system.